In the previous lesson, we created our ebook scraper, which is the Scrapey project. And in this lesson, we will take a quick walkthrough of the things inside of our scraper project. Inside of our ebook scraper, you will find two things. That is a directory with the same name where our project code lives. And then we have a scrapy.cfg file that is a configuration file used by Scrapy to operate our scraper. Of course, for now, we don't need to mess with that. So let's close the file. Inside of the ebook scraper, you will find a lot of Python files. Each of these files can be used to customize a certain things. That is, as I mentioned before, Scrapy simplifies a lot of things for us like sending a request, getting the response, or extracting the data. If we want, we can further customize each thing to our own need. And each of these files can be used to customize a certain thing. Items can be used to create classes to structureize our data. We can create middlewares to create middlewares between our request and the server. We can create pipelines to directly send our data to a database or a local storage. And lastly, we have the settings, which can be used to just configure some settings of our scraper. All of these files will be used when we need them. But for now, we need to focus on the spiders, which is currently empty, only has a init.py file, which is used to create it a package. Because inside of this spiders folder, we will create our own spiders, which will crawl the websites and scrape data. So in the next lesson, let's go ahead and create a spider to start web scraping.